Welcome to Oshkosh's EAA. Please subscribe and enjoy our videos. My name is Michael Dixon. I'm the Managing Director of Customer Support at Enstrom Helicopters. We're coming at you today from Oshkosh, EAA Air Venture. We have here on display our uh, 480B. We have this set up right now in kind of an electronic news gathering configuration. Our GyroCam 3000, gyro mounts. We have our helicopter set up in a five place configuration. You see here our uh, modern avionics layouts with the uh, G1000. It's a G1000H. Yep, this has a G1000, full glass cockpit. We have it set up right now, like I said, in a five place configuration. Pilot, four passengers. The 480B carries about 600 pounds of fuel on board, burns 170 pounds per hour. I usually flight plan between three, three and a half hour legs. Um, and a ENG configuration for a slow cruise, you can get three and a half, four hours of fuel out of it, pulling a little bit of power. And um, the amount of fuel it carries on board and the amount of power required during uh, observation or patrol work makes it a fantastic aircraft for loiter, for police work, for search and rescue. Um, let's see here. The engine on this aircraft is a Allison Rolls-Royce 250 C20W. It's the same engine you'd find in uh, turbine Bonanza conversions. So, the beautiful thing about this setup is ease of maintenance on this engine. If you need to do a hot section inspection or getting ready to overhaul your engine, it only takes a couple of hours to remove the engine from the airframe and only takes a few hours to install the engine on the airframe. And it's low to the ground and our tooling that we make for it allows one person to do it by themselves. So, it's a very clever design. Um, Right now we have a fleets operating 480Bs around the world. Uh -huh. uh, biggest customers are in Thailand and Japan. Military operators using for training. Uh -huh. um, have several clients in China. A lot of private owners in the U.S. using these for uh, A to B machines. Okay. And what is the? Uh, I'm sure it has many mm -hmm. pleasant aspects of mm -hmm. uh, flying and the capabilities. What is? What are one of? What is one of the capabilities that you enjoy? Mm. The nicest capability of the 480B, as a pilot perspective, is how smooth of an operation you get out of it. I can take this off and trim it out at 100, 105 knots and fly basically hands-free, no autopilot. It's that stable, it's that nice to fly. I can have a cup of coffee in a mug <laughs> on the floor and do demo flights all day long sure. and not spill a drop of coffee. Sure, sure. There you go, there you go. I can do auto rotations, I can do uh, sidewards flight, I can do backwards flight, I can do just about anything. everything right. you can imagine and it's just smooth and safe and non-events. That's the biggest point of an Enstrom. Okay. And is it because you have an extra... Uh rotor blade up there mm -hmm. is it or is that one of the reasons one of the reasons it's such a stable helicopter is our rotor design uh, three bladed fully articulated rotor system all right but it's a high inertia rotor system so auto rotations simulated engine failures mm -hmm. um, are non-events they're so easy to auto rotate and glide the tail rotor is very effective um, which makes um, stuck pedals emergency procedures such as that, again, non-events. The other interesting aspect of the Enstrom that a lot of people don't know is our tail rotor. Here, we have these two bolts and washers. A lot of people think these are for balancing. Uh -huh. These are actually pinnipedal weights, mm -hmm. like in a governor. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. So these want to maintain center of mass right. as they rotate, which maintains a certain blade angle. 
you can actually fly this straight and level uh -huh. with your feet on the ground and it will trim itself out oh, wow. because of pinnipedal weights. Really? Really? Which means if you have a tail rotor cable failure or lose tail rotor effectiveness, yeah. effectiveness, you can land this thing, you can put it in a hover almost and land it without using your tail rotor. That speaks volumes, doesn't it? Oh yeah. Safety, safety, safety. Safety, safety, safety. Like I said, emergency procedures and enstroms are not events. This is important to private operators. If emergency procedures are non-events, you'll practice them. If you practice them, you become proficient at them. Right. If you become proficient at them, you become more safe, mm -hmm. which makes you a proficient, safe, pilot. capable pilot, faster than anything else I've flown. This is why I'm with Enstrom. There you go, there you go. And then the, uh, let's see, talk about the, uh, maybe the, uh, these, mm -hmm set up here that we have and uh, it looks like it's uh, reinforced to mm. do many jobs. The landing gear here on the 480B, uh, behind these shrouds, you'll find oleo struts. Okay. Oleo struts like you would find on a, a Schweitzer 300, very similar to that. And with a three-bladed, fully articulated rotor system, you have to have shock absorbers on your struts. Okay. Um, these also help reduce impacts from hard landings or uh, flight training activities during auto rotations, full down autos, things like that. Um, you can see it's, you can look at the rotor head, the mast, the gear, the helicopter, and you can see how well built it is. We take a lot of pride in building our helicopters. The original designer, Rudy Enstrom, was a mining engineer. And you can find a lot of that um, in these helicopters. They're built like pieces of mining equipment. Right, right, right. So they're strong and they're capable and they're safe. There you go. There you go. Is there any particular uh, way that a customer should reach you? Yeah, if a customer would like to reach us, talk more, uh, talk more about helicopters and operations, you can find us on our website, www.enstromhelicopter.com. Great, great. And you want to do a quick uh, summary mm -hmm. on uh, this? Uh... Yeah. Our piston helicopters. Our piston helicopters, right now I have the F-28F. Our F-28F and 280FX lines are powered by Lycoming HIO 360 F1AD engines. They are turbocharged, 220 horsepower engines. Um, these are also fantastic training helicopters. Um, Again, they have the same safety characteristics, the same high inertia rotor systems, the same tail rotor effectiveness as our 480Bs. We've been producing the piston models since the late 1960s, I believe. Um, we started with F-28As, we went to C models, F models, FXs. Um, the oldest helicopter still flying in the Enstrom fleet is serial number 007. <laughs> um, we have some operators that are operating our piston helicopters, um, 15,000 hour helicopters still flying. Mm -hmm. Nicest thing with the Enstrom for direct operating cost standpoints is uh, calendar life items. We only have one. In the main rotor hub we have a five year item. And everything else on the helicopter is based on flight time. Okay. As, as opposed to some of our competitors that have calendar life items on many, many components, mm -hmm. we only have one. Okay. So it's how much you fly, not right. how much it sits. Right, right, okay, sure. Big difference. Big difference. Big difference. The, uh, can we take a look at the uh, interior on this? Yep. Oh, it's unlocked? Thank you. Now this is a 2009 model. It's a customer of mine owns this. Well, our modern avionics packages uh, include uh, Garmin 650s, 750s, the Aspen um, STCs uh, for single and dual Aspen installations. So we do have modernized cockpits for these as well. Um, Again, this is set up in a three-place configuration currently. Um, if you put in dual controls, it goes to a two-place. 
training helicopter configuration. Just a fantastic little helicopter. I'm sure. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. The useful load on this helicopter, depending on your configuration, can range anywhere from 920 to 970 pounds of useful load. That's full bags, 240 pounds of fuel, right? That's, that's right? So you can get about 500 to 550 pounds of people and bags in this right, helicopter right. with full bags. <laughs> there you go. That's why you have these, uh, uh, what would you call them, utility baskets? Yeah. Mm. yeah, this is an option that was actually, uh, I believe it was created up in Alaska Okay. for uh, fisheries, game, game, uh, game reserves. Okay. So they'd put camping gear and fishing poles and coolers and whatever they needed. Sure. and uh, ferry people out to fish. Um, this, this owner likes the basket because he does a lot of short hops around the Upper Peninsula. Okay. I'd th like to thank Tom's Aviation for filming this today. Thank you for watching. Please check out his YouTube channels for more, more information on everything eclectic and awesome in aviation. So thank you for watching from Enstrom Helicopter Corporation.